Hello everyone, I'm glad to share our work GraphScope, a one-stop large graph processing system. We will walk through its main features with a running example. GraphScope follows the standard Kubernetes procedure to deploy and launch. As displayed, users can use the CLI provided by Kuber Control and Home. Now we can see that a Kubernetes cluster with applied resources is ready for use and a GraphScope service address with listening port is written. Using this service address, we enter the main interface of GraphScope. It is a managed Jupyter Notebook container serving as IDE, with a cluster of containerized workers serving the background to process queries. As a start step, we need to create a session. Next, we will use the node classification task on citation network as an example. The input graph is a heterogeneous network containing different types of entities such as papers and authors, as well as multiple types of relations between the entities. Let's have a look at the data frame of paper vertices, in which each paper has multiple properties like authors, topics, and keywords. The target of this task is to predict the topic class of each paper. Then we move on the step of loading a graph. With this code, the citation network data is loaded in parallel and stored as a graph in one yard instances in the cluster managed by the session. Graph scope enables users to implement their own graph analysis algorithms. Here, we first extract a subgraph with paper published in a certain period. Then we implement a classic page rank algorithm using the programming model proposed in our demo paper. GraphScope also ships with a set of built-in algorithms, enables users to easily analyze their graph data. For example, we run a built-in triangle counting algorithm to generate the features of each paper node. Then with Ryan, the results of page rank and triangle counting can be easily added to the citation graph as new columns. As another important feature, GraphScope supports analyzing large-scale graphs through interactive queries. For instance, we write a Gremlin query to find vertices with specific page rank values and neighbors. As displayed, GraphScope returns the results through a visualization of the graph. By exploring this graph, users can further inspect the properties of the vertices or edges. Continuing our node classification task, GNN algorithms could be used to classify the nodes into different categories. Here, we use a built-in GCN model to train the data. The features include both the original properties of paper vertices, as well as the results from the previous triangle counting and page rank steps. Now we can see that in the training procedure, the loss is decreasing. The users of GraphScope can easily monitor the status of the Kubernetes cluster with each component of the cluster being displayed. It also provides fine-grained analysis by visualizing the computation performance and the status of each worker. Finally, we close the session to release our resources. That's all for our demonstration. Thanks for your attention.